This Vini TV, the most sexually pleasing wine media on the planet, right after jamesuckling.com. <laughs> My name is Arto, the bugger over here is Ilka. Yee! A few weeks ago we went to Spain, not fucking Spain, Italy, to EWBC, Francia Corta, and it was Fun. I mean, one of the most funnest uh, events that I've ever been when no. it comes to wine. It was my first time in Greece, but uh, I loved it. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. It was in Italy, Brescia. They, 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 they say Brescia, but it's Brescia actually. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Italians call it Brescia. And it was brilliant. And the reason why we were there, uh, we were drinking a lot of uh, sparkling wine. I mean, Arto promised before we went uh, to drink, I don't know, like. Six million bu bubbles or hundred million. Yeah. Hundred million bubbles. Did you succeed? No? no, I was just bragging. I actually failed miserably. I counted. I probably did maybe five or six million bubbles, but uh, it's not close to one hundred. But uh, anyway, I was a bit tipsy. Yeah, no, he was tipsy all the time. No. But it was lots of fun. I mean, for those guys who don't know, Francicorta is a sparkling wine from North Italy. Not to confuse with uh, Prosecco or any of that stuff. Yeah. It's different uh, styles. It's high quality. High price point, and I actually see a dick behind the camera. Thank goodness, uh, cameraman. Can you do a favor and uh, can you can you please do a favor and? Uh... <laughs> we have some weird guests here. <laughs> what the fuck's happening here? <laughs> let, let me just make it clear. His name is not Dick. You know. <laughs> anyway. Let's keep the professional level. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Anyways, so we drank a lot of good stuff, but in general I was kind of dis disappointed in the uh, French court the wines. I mean, I went there with high hopes and we tasted some really good stuff and I was uh, surprised by the longevity of the some wines, but in general I was slightly disappointed of, of the quality of the wines. And I have to agree, I think there's some issues uh, concerning ripeness. They've been making the style only 50 years, so they are not, maybe not yet there with their know-how, so sometimes you get this after bitterness combined with the excessive uh, harshness on the acidity and neutral kind of character, so you get this sort of like bland, bland wine that is really piercing through your uh, piercing in your mouth, but it's not really like uh, complex or uh, attractive, but the best houses <laughs> make brilliant stuff uh, for example Cardel Bosco, Il Mosnel, uh, Berlucci, this is Fratelli Berlucci Brothers Berlucci, a bit like Super Mario Bros. A uh, <laughs> bit. The one is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's quite decent. It kind of falls flat in the uh, in the in the mouth with the bubbles, but uh, it's okay. It's not too bad. But we had lots of fun in the EWBC. Met some really really cool people, and we cannot wait for the EWBC Moscow next year. <laughs> yeah. So in Moscow 2012, we'll be there. Yeah, definitely. See you there, guys. See you.